we talk to different comedians for this segment to continue the laughs, or in today's case, start the laughs. Today, we're talking about one of the most fraught FIFA World Cups is finally here. This year's Global Soccer Tournament in Qatar has been marred since the day it was awarded back in 2010 by constant scandal or questions about how a country of barely 2 million people could host 1 million visitors, which all the World Cups average. There are so many questions and controversies that we don't think even an avid sports fan can determine a real World Cup related scandal or a weird fact versus one that we just made up. So we put our friend D. Ahmed to the test. And here's a note. All the real statements are still considered allegations. FIFA executive given dinosaur bones in exchange for supporting Cutter's bid. Uh, yeah, it, it was a uh, Sepp Blatter, I believe. So I think that that's actually true. That is actually fake, but I love that you actually brought up Sepp Blatter's name because Sepp Blatter exists in a world where anything that he received in exchange for something else is believable. I will always believe that Sepp Blatter, it's possible that Sepp Blatter took that as a bribe because um, what won't he take as a bribe? In Cutter's proposal to FIFA for why they should host the World Cup, they included a city that doesn't exist. They did. Didn't they? They said that they could actually build a city in order to house the actual players that would be playing in Doha. Or, I don't know. Yeah, I want to say yes. That is correct. Lucille uh, was the city that did not exist. It was developed in 2021. So that was the city that they, in fact, built in order for the World Cup. Let's, you know, it's great that those million people are going to stay. Oh, wait, they're not. What are you doing <laughs> no. with the city, Cutter? What are you doing? Cutter offers to put air conditioning throughout the whole country. <laughs> God, I really hope they didn't say something like that. Uh, no, I don't believe that's true. That was actually true. Cutter now averages 120 degrees in the summer. They moved this to the winter months, but uh, that was something that uh, was going to be considered before that change was made. $1,000 a month minimum wage was put in for Qatari workers. Minimum wage was $1,000? That is not true. That is not true. Uh, the monthly minimum wage actually started around $230. Yeah, it yeah. was crimes against humanity. I mean, it's yeah. pretty messed yeah. up. Uh, yeah, the, I, I thought the 1000 was offensive. No, it's way lower than that. Five of the original 22 FIFA World Cup voting members were investigated for corruption and bribery. If it's not true, it's more. <laughs> Wow, you are on top of it, sir. That is not true. It's way more. 16 have been investigated. Cutter offers lifetime business class flights on Cutter Airways to every FIFA executive. Yeah, that's sadly true, I imagine. That is actually fake. Uh, they probably didn't ah. even have to ask for that. That was just something that they, that was just something they slid under the door. Uh, of the hotel, <laughs> like your bill, before they left. They was like, oh, here's your like lifetime business class. Last but not least, a recent Guardian investigation reported over 6,500 migrant workers have died in Qatar since 2010. Yeah, sadly, that has to be true, probably. Sadly, that is true. That is something that uh, Qatar disputes, um, seemingly as if uh, other people can't count or have no evidence or have no media. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how they just act like you. You're you going to believe me or your lying eyes. Uh, Cutter from the world of, of Richard Pryor. There we have it. That is sadly true. You did fantastically well. I think you got almost all of these right. You clearly have been following this. Yeah, I have a very foreign parent. Uh, my mom is a big old football fan, soccer fan, and she would have been very disappointed if I didn't Come and represent. Yep. Uh, we look forward to putting together a proposal for World Cup and Berry Farms or some other crazy play. If Cutter can get it, Berry Farms can get it. I'm sorry. Agreed. And it should be there. Oh, shout out to D. Ahmed. He did fantastically well. I can't claim to have big old foreign parents for parents from the Carolinas. But if you want to hear more from D, you could check him out at D Was Joking on all social media for more. And we didn't even get a chance to add that our producer, Adam, is currently investigating why all the fans from the various countries for the World Cup look alike.